Welcome to Lenin in 5 Minutes, a new series that looks at the major theoretical contributions of Vladimir Lenin to Marxism. This series certainly aims to be a standalone source of information, but is probably best used as a supplement to Lenin's actual works. Today's video will serve as a brief introduction to Lenin and his ideas. Lenin carried forward many concepts that Marx was unable to fully develop and often did so in a very concise manner. This alone makes him a must-read for any student of Marx or indeed anyone who is educating themselves on the development of Marxist theory. Among the most important concepts that Lenin established and popularized are the dictatorship of the proletariat, the Marxist theory of the state, revolutionary vanguardism, and general tactics of the revolution, and imperialism as a stage of capitalism. It's important to remember that most of Lenin's contributions to these concepts built off of Marx and other scholars who either preceded Lenin or were his contemporaries. Thus, studying Lenin should feel like a natural progression from Marx and others. Lenin was not only a theorist, but actually an active member of a major political project, making him a unique figure in communist history. Because Lenin often engaged with real-life obstacles, he frequently readjusted his position on various issues. Many might therefore find him to be incredibly flexible in his ideological outlook. Though some critics accuse Leninism of being a dogmatic offshoot of Marxist theory, the reality is that Lenin and his ideas were very much a product of their time and to this day remain far more malleable than they are given credit for. Because Lenin found himself at the center of pre- and post-revolutionary politics, many of his works are very polemical in nature. In other words, Lenin needed to engage in actively attacking his political opponents, who he believed were advocating for insufficient or intolerable solutions to problems in the status quo. Many characters like Bernstein, Kautsky, Bogdanov, Plikhanov, Lunacharsky, and so on make regular appearances in Lenin's texts and are frequently subjected to what are amusingly merciless deconstructions of their ideas. If you do get around to reading Lenin, you might find some of his roasts surprisingly entertaining. If Lenin were around today, he would likely revise a considerable amount of his perspectives to fit current material conditions. That being said, some of Lenin's hypotheses remain spectacularly applicable in our time, such as the role of finance capital as a mechanism for modern imperialism. Some of Lenin's other ideas have become the bases of larger theories. One such area is the Marxist conception of the state and its role in society, which is a subject of much disagreement among Marxists. In summary, Lenin's relevance and accessible style makes him an excellent read for pretty much anyone who wants to understand Marxism. Well, that's where we're going to end this video. Don't forget to check out the other content on this channel, and as a reminder, you are absolutely welcome to use any of the channel's videos for your own projects. Until next time, remember, the philosophers have only interpreted the world in various ways. The point is to change it.